Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys and I am super excited for this one. I love the way the lip turned out. I love the way the eyes turned out. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. I am so sorry that I didn't upload the last two days. Uh, things have been a little bit crazy and they're even gonna get crazier next week. But I am back with a makeup tutorial today and I will be back tomorrow with a makeup tutorial and then we're gonna skip Saturday because ain't nobody wanna watch YouTube videos on Saturday. I will see you back on Sunday for another makeup tutorial and then on Monday is the weekly vlog and we are starting all over again because you guys know I upload four times a week one of them being a weekly vlog I hope you enjoy this look it was really fun for me to film I absolutely love the way it turned out I had such a good time and yeah I think that is about it so without further ado here is the tutorial don't forget to check down in the description bar for more details subscribe follow comment all of that good stuff I love you so much and Enjoy my lovelies. The first thing that I'm gonna do are my brows. Now, I already have a brow tutorial. I believe it is like four videos back that way. So if you're interested in learning how I do my brows, <laughs> I will link the video down below or just uh, scroll my page and you'll see the eyebrow tutorial. But I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows because you guys know I like to do my eyebrows first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my face now with Water Lush, which is the moisturizer, moisturizer, <laughs> moisturizer and primer that I created with Ofra Cosmetics. We added a few more onto the stock that we already have, so it's still available. I will list the link down below for you guys. Don't forget to use the discount code Kim Tai for 30% off. And don't forget that for every container of Water Lush sold, we donate $2 to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. That was a very, very important aspect of this collaboration. I wanted to make sure that whenever I got a chance to collaborate with a brand or a company, whatever it is, I made sure that a donation, a portion of the proceeds went to, uh, will be donated to a charity or a foundation. That is always something that has been a dream of mine and something that I definitely plan on keeping up with all of my other collaborations this year. So I use Wanderlush every single day as a day and night cream. It's really smooth and velvety, has this really nice gel formula, which is one of my favorite parts. And it makes your makeup stay and last all night long because it has glycerin, so it's really gonna grab onto those particles and make sure that your foundation, your face products, whatever it may be, is going to last you all day long. A little bit does go a super long way unless you really want to trench your face in it. But so it's going to last you for a pretty long time. After that, I'm going to go in with this NYX Cosmetics Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. Now, Wonder Lush is a great primer, like I said, but this one is going to really smooth out the pores and make everything look super seamless and flawless. This is my first time trying it, so I don't know what to expect, but I'm very, very excited because I've heard great reviews on it. So I'm going to put this in this area where I have the most appearance of pores. I think I used a little bit too much, <laughs> but we'll make it work. So I think I used a little bit too much of the primer, but one thing I can tell you is that it feels kind of oily, and I'm not a big fan of feeling oily. So, I mean, hopefully it works. So anyways, let's get started. <laughs> I'm gonna spray my face real quick with the Mario Badasco Rose Spray. Did you guys know that they're coming out with one and it's like, cucumber aloe vera and um, green tea I'm really really excited the rose one is my favorite this is just gonna give us a really nice boost of hydration and refresh our face before we go in with foundation I'm trying a new foundation today this is the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup and I'm in the color 3c1 dusk I finally got my hands on this at Sephora uh, it was out of stock the last time I tried I I have a lot of expectations for this because I heard it's really, really good. It's supposed to be really, really nice coverage, but very natural looking. Doesn't look too caked up. The one thing I can tell you guys already is that I'm not a big fan of the packaging. I don't really like this whole like pouring out process. I like when there is a pump pump, you know? So not really in love with it, but I'm sure that I can just get away with it and maybe go buy a pump or uh, suck it up and stop being so high maintenance. <laughs> I'm a really big foundation person, so 
whenever I get to try something new, I get really excited over it. And I hope this is my color. <laughs> gonna work it in with a beauty blender that is damp and let's see it definitely does give coverage and has a very nice natural glow consistency kind of reminds me of like Too Faced Born This Way mixed with the NARS Luminous Silk I think it's really, really nice, actually. I'm gonna see if I can build a little bit more and observe to see it'll if if the <laughs> observe to see if it'll cover a little bit of that redness. Oh wow! Amazing building up. That coverage is great. For, not, for being very glowy. Do you guys see that glow? I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Cosmetic Shape Tape in the color Light Neutral. And I'm gonna use this to conceal and highlight my face as per usual. So my niece is doing well. She's like three weeks old now. She still shit sucks on a nipple and poops all day, but lately she's been starting to smile and she rolled her eyes the other day. She's definitely a mini me. I'm gonna set that right away with my Benai Luxury Powder. You guys should know the routine by now. These are my like holy grail products. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Super Stay Butter Skin. You guys, look, I hit pan on it. That's how obsessed I am with it. It is absolutely amazing. I like to use this with a Morphe Y2 and I just set the rest of my face I'm pretty sure you guys don't need to hear me talk about how amazing this powder is. If you haven't gotten your hands on it, you definitely need to. It is the best powder at the drugstore ever. I think one of my favorite parts about this powder is that it's so affordable. Anybody can go and grab this and that's the one thing that you guys know. I love to keep things affordable for you guys so if I find something that is like the shit, you have to go get it. It is the shit. To contour and bronze today, I'll be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I know that I'm extremely late on the bandwagon, but this baby was really expensive at Sephora, so I finally sucked it up and got it, and I don't regret it at all. It is amazing, you guys. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a contouring and a highlight palette, and it looks like this. Her formulas are amazing. Kat Von D has like one of the best formulas for powders I've ever owned. I love her eyeshadows, so I knew that this was amazing, and I know a lot of people on YouTube have been raving about this ever since it came out. I'm gonna use this today to contour and bronze with this brush that I found at Walmart? Target. I think Walmart the other day. It is a Revlon brush, and it says it's used for blush, but you can use it for blush and, um, contour and bronzer in my opinion. It's really, really soft. I haven't used it yet, but I opened it up and tried it on the back of my hands and it's really, really soft. So I hope it does the job. I, I really, really hope it does the job because if it does, then I can recommend more drugstore brushes for you guys. So it's easier for you to go and grab a brush there rather than ordering online. But I also love the packaging. I think it's I think the packaging is really, really cool. The ends are really great for like if you have an itch on your head or you want to like pick out your ears. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's disgusting. So I'm going to use this middle shade right here. And oh, well, the brush actually grabs a lot of product, which is good but bad at the same time. So I'm going to dab a little bit of that off and we are going to contour. So it feels really nice on the skin. It applies really nicely. And so far, so good. For blush, I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Master Blush Color and Highlight Kit, which I got at Target the other day. I think it is so pretty. And I'm gonna use this color right here as today's blush. This is really pretty. I like it. Okay, now onto my favorite part, which is highlighting. You guys know I absolutely love my glow and I like it really, really intense. Lately, I've been doing it really differently and I definitely wanted to share with you guys. I already shared a little bit of it on Nikki's Snapchat last week when she was here with me and I wanted to share it in a makeup tutorial. This is the Makeup Forever Star Lit Liquid. I saw these the other day at Sephora and I thought they were nail polishes. Like, not kidding you guys. 
it looks like legit nail polish, but it's actually for your cheekbones and your eyes. So I grabbed the color 03. In my opinion, I think I might be 02 or 04. I'm not really sure, I don't remember the color, but this is a really nice beige with some gold um, sparkle in it. It's really great as like a base right under that powder highlight. So what I like to do is I like to take up this product and literally at the highest points of my cheekbones, which when I suck in, the highest point of your cheekbones will stick out. And I do three dots. And then you want to take your finger and blend it out right away. You don't want to wait. This is a product that dries really quickly and you want to work and blend really, really fast. There, so then you have that base. You're going to take your highlighting brush, which I've been using this one. Um, I'll explain in a little bit. But then you're going to take your powder highlight, which can be any. But today I'm going to use this Ofra Cosmetics Highlighting and Bronzer Palette. And I believe this is Rodeo. I'm going to go in with Rodeo. And we are going to blend that cream out. So if you work really, really quickly and blend everything together, it's going to give you a really intense glow. Now this brush, it is from the Morphe Brushes Copper Dream or Dream Copper set that I've been using since Christmas and I really like this for highlighting. The only thing is you guys have to buy the set in order to get this brush, but I do guarantee you that the other brushes in the set are absolutely amazing. But this is what I've been using lately to highlight, and it's just really, really nice. The bristles are super soft, and it gives me a really intense highlight. And now to lock everything in, I like to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm just going to spray my whole face, wait a little bit, and we're going to start on the eyes. This is the part where all of the face products, the powders, whatever it may be, is going to sink into your skin really, really nicely and give you that effortless effect. First thing that we're going to do is go with MAC Cosmetics Paint Your Paint Box to prime our eyelids. I'm going to go in with this shade right here by Makeup Geek Cosmetics, and it's called Sorbet. I'm gonna work that all over my lid. Sorbet is a really nice baby pink shade that is just light enough to give you an all over the lid glow. I'm gonna take this color right here. All of this is Makeup Geek, by the way. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna take this color right here and it's called Cupcake, which is a really nice Machara pan color. And I'm gonna pop that all over my crease area. And we're just going to do the blending motion and make sure that we're going to deposit this shade up in there. So whenever I'm doing my eyeshadow, I like to do the same thing as my face and do miniature circular motions back and forth, back and forth, from right to left, right to left. And that's going to give you a really nice blended look for your eyeshadow. You don't want to be like harsh and go back and forth like this. I like circular motions. I feel like it blends more nicely. I feel like I want a little bit more pink. This is like too soft for me. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this palette that I just bought from Target. <gasps> so pretty. You guys, this is so, so, so pretty. This is the NYX Cosmetics Ultimate Shadow Palette in USP04 Bright. It has all of these bright shades. I am in love. I never wear bright shades, but this palette gives me life. I'm going to take probably this pink right here. I think that's a really nice. It's kind of like cupcake that we just used, but a little bit brighter. And I'm gonna pop that in my crease area. I've recommended this brush before. This is the M4333. And I love it because it really gets deep into that crease for you to carve it out, but also deposit and blend color really nicely. If you're looking for a good eyeshadow brush, I definitely would recommend this one. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I believe it's called Burlesque or something like that. And we're gonna use this to deepen up the outer V because this is too much pink. So with this color, you wanna keep it on the outer V, 
but you don't want to bring it up too high because we want all of that pink we worked so hard on to peek up behind it and so it has this really nice sultry fade. This is the Morphe E17. It's really soft. I believe this is one of their elite brushes and I just like how like petite and small it is. It's great for the outer corners and the inner corners if you're doing that halo eye. Definitely recommend you getting this one as well. And don't worry if you feel like you lost a little bit of that pink, you can go right back in with more product and gently add more shade. Oh, the fade is so nice. <laughs> I'm so happy. It looks so good. That color is really, really nice on an outer corner. I even would do a halo eye with that. That's so pretty. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna bring it on the lower lash line as well. For my inner corners, I'm gonna use this new Makeup Geek foiled pigment in the color Illusion. It's a really nice um, rose gold and pink shade. <laughs> And I'm going to pop this on the inner corners. The wonderful thing about these pigments is that you don't really need an adhesive or anything under. It applies really nicely. They're really, really um, smooth and uh, kind of like fo they're foiled eyeshadows but in a pigment form. So it's going to give you even more color, more pigmentation, and definitely a nice glow. I even would use these to highlight. These are these would be beautiful for a little bit of highlight on the uh, highest points of your cheekbones. Now I'm going to pop on some mascara. This is the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara which has easily become one of my favorites. And for lashes today, I'll be using these. I wore these the other day um, to a Makeup Forever weekend event thing. These are called Foxy by Cake Face Beauty and they're just really, really nice. For my lips today, I'll be wearing ColourPop's collaboration with Kathleen Lights. This is Aquarius in an Ultra Satin Lip and then this is Aquarius in an Ultra Glossy Lip. You guys know I am a huge Kathleen Lights supporter. I love her so much. She is extremely kind and humble and so, so funny. And so I'm really, really excited. I bought these about two weeks ago when they launch on her birthday, I believe. So I'm really excited for it to pull this look together. Okay friends, that is it for today's makeup tutorial. I hope you had a lot of fun. I know I did. And I know I'm obsessed with this lip. It is literally beautiful. I, I want to wear it every single day. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up. And all the products that I use, including brushes, discount codes, and all of the makeup products will be listed down below, including this shirt, this headband, and these contacts, because I know you guys are going to ask. I cannot wait to see you back tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow for a makeup tutorial. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, my loves.